Hello, good morning. It's Miss Julie from Miss Julie's Virtual Preschool and Crafts. And I'm here in my kitchen and I'm gonna make another fun fall treat with you today. But before we get started, please hit that subscribe button below so you can see when I go live and when I put out new videos just like this one for you. All right, we are gonna make the most delicious and the biggest apple cider donut you can think of. Have you had those good donuts at the orchard? Did you ever want to make one at home? We are going to make a one today, but it's going to be the biggest donut you've ever seen. And you can share it with your friends and family. All right. So it's a fairly simple recipe. I'll post the link below. Um, the description of the recipe below, and then you can get the ingredients to make one yourself. So, the first thing you're going to need, and will be easy to start with, is you're gonna need one box of yellow cake mix. Okay, so you're just gonna dump the yellow cake mix into your um, bowl that you're gonna mix your ingredients. This cake does have instructions on the back and it says set the oven to 350 and that is the temperature we're going to use for this um, cake too. So set your oven to 350. I've already started mine and you're going to empty the contents of this cake mix into your bowl you're mixing with, okay? So um, you're not going to follow the instructions on the back of the cake box, but you are going to use just the contents of the box. All right, so I have my cake mix mix, and then you're not gonna follow the back of this. So you can put that to the side, you don't need that. Um, next thing it says is, you're going to need three eggs. So, three eggs, and it would be good to have them room temperature, but not necessary. I just had my out here, so um, three eggs. Make sure you don't get any shells. Good job. All right, so three eggs, the cake mix. Now, it says you'll need a half a cup of applesauce unsweetened. So I just had two little of those little individualized cups you can use for lunch boxes around this time of the year. I took two of those and I poured them into this bowl. They were a little chilly, so I had it out on my countertop here and that's about half a cup. So I'm gonna scoop that in to the mix. All right. Now, it says two tablespoons of melted butter. So I cut off two little tablespoons from the stick, put them in this bowl and I melted them and they are ready. Melted butter, unsalted, um, unsalted butter. The cake mix already has salt in the cake mix, so you don't want your um, big donut to be too salty. I'm gonna keep this spoon here handy in case I need it. And then it says, mix one tablespoon, no, teaspoon of vanilla, all right? So that's just one little, Shot. There we go. Um, the next ingredient that makes them super special, that makes them the apple cider donut, is you need the cider. I picked mine up actually at uh, Walmart. So you don't have to go to an orchard or anything, but it's a jug like this, comes in a jug like this, and um, it says 100% apple cider, okay? And now the, the recipe says you need three fourths of a cup. 
So I have my measuring cup here and I'm going to pour three fourths a cup of apple cider. And I hope that's enough that you taste it in the cake and the donut. We'll see. If you like a little bit more, you could adjust that amount probably. I'm just gonna dump it in here. And then I am going to mix this up. This is gonna be tasty. Once you learn how to make this at home, you might not want to go out and get those donuts from your local. You might want to pick out something else they, they make there. You might want to make these at home every fall. Um, who do you think you're going to share your giant apple cider donut with? Are you going to share it with your kids? Are you going to share it with your family, your friends? Ooh, I've got an idea. This could make a great addition to a boo basket. And if you don't know what a boo basket is, check out my other video. I'm going to be making boo baskets for Halloween. You drop them off at your neighbor or your friend's house and give them a little smile. But this would make a great addition to a boo basket, especially if you do one for a um, older neighbor or a family member who doesn't want the toys or trinkets. You can do a homemade treat in the boo basket. All right, this looks good. And maybe a little bit. I like to use a spoon so that I can see the lumps instead of using a mixer. And actually most of the lumps are already out. This is actually looking really good. Um, and you just make sure you get no, no, make sure there's no white bits from the cake mix on the bottom. Do 30 more seconds of mixing here by hand. Switch directions. Ooh, it smells like apple cider around here and applesauce. Smells great. All right, now I have a pan. This is my um, big giant donut pan and I greased it up already. You can use spray or butter, depending on whatever you have available. And I greased it up already. And now we're gonna pour this in. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be delicious. around in a circle. You can easily do this in any kind of pan you have, but we're making the giant donut. So that's why I chose this pan. We are making the giant apple cider donut. Tasty. All right. Looks good to me. All right. Now, the um, when it comes out of the oven, you're going to cook it for 45 to 50 minutes. And of course, you can always poke it with a um, toothpick or a knife. Make sure the knife or toothpick comes out clean. And then it's all ready and you will leave it on your countertop to cool. And then you can pop the middle out of your pan to have your big donut. Um, the topping will be, you can mix your topping in another little bowl, cinnamon, brown sugar, regular sugar, and 
some more butter. So you can decide how much cinnamon, brown sugar, and sugar you wanna mix. Um, mix it a little at a time in a bowl with the melted butter and then you pour it over the top of the cake donut when it comes out, when it's cool. So that's how that works. And um, I would love to hear how the recipe, the recipe came out for you and who you shared it with and what other fall tasty treats you make in the fall. All right, friends, see you next time from Miss Julie's Virtual Preschool and Crafts. Thanks.